I'd like to pinpoint exactly where we all differ. This is the part where everybody is a very different person. What is your inner monologue, inner monologue like? For a lot of people, they say, what inner monologue? <laughs> inner monologue. That itself, somebody saying that to me is complete insanity. You have no idea of reality if you're not hearing a voice in your head. If something in your mind is not talking to you. Complete insanity. Some people say that their inner voice is in the voice of their mother, their father, anything traumatic. This is so interesting. What does your inner voice sound like? This separates the person. Some people think that it's an angel. And some people think that it's the devil. It is all of these things. It's what your subconscious mind has picked up and now believes. So, the voice in your head, it should be your own thought. Not some TV show, not your favorite actor, not some British accent. No, this should, it should be your, the, your real person. It should be yourself in full thought. And not thoughts like, oh, I love TV. I love uh, you know something else. It's more, it's more based on your existence and, and, and God. Let's talk about our inner voices. I'll go first, actually. <clears throat> Mine is the voice you're hearing now, basically making decision after decision, always wanting the truth, nothing else. It just won't, won't even accept anything else. And uh, anything that I hear resonates with my heart, and my heart will talk to me in a shocking vibration. It's like a compass. It's really, really helpful for people to be conscious of this. What is your inner voice like? I, I know we're going to hear a bunch of crazy stuff. Look down after I post this. Look down in the comment section and look how different we all are. This is why. This is our level of consciousness. However you, you interpret that voice or that inner monologue in your head, that's your reality. Let's talk about it. What is your voice like?